Shining coal and iron gold and what can be found Soon or later creepers come my way I never find a diamond in my eyes My tools keep on breaking ah. Yes, there's Nico. You're a jerk. You killed me. So, you know what? You don't get to go with me again. Where are you? You just stay there. <sighs> what do we have going on? Got a few spiders, a creeper. I lost a bunch of stuff. Um, lost my watch. Lost my sword. I don't even need to go look for that stuff because it's gone. It's just gone. Lost my bow, a bunch of picks. Lost a bunch of lumber. Yeah. Awesome. My armor. I'm just chewing up my, uh, my iron, wasting it on armor at this point, because I keep losing it all. Alright, come on. That... <laughs> That's amusing. Oh boy. Ah, oh, creeper actually made it in there. How about that? Oh no. Uh, you can stay, I guess, but don't follow me. <laughs> Alright, I gotta stop being in such a bad mood. I'm just annoyed that, uh, that my own wolf killed me. So I was uh, hanging out here in the collector and um, I left Minecraft running and I came back to discover that I was standing over here by my bed and that's because Nico 3 suddenly appeared. So Wolves are definitely able to get through the uh, barbecue stations here. Turns out that they are not as big as pigs, and this has also been confirmed by uh, the illustrious Ethos Labs. Uh, pretty much the same thing going on. He had a, uh, a pig sorter, like what I have. Uh, a lot more complex, though, but basic same idea. A ladder underneath lava prevents pigs from being able to get through a one block area. Uh, he had the same kind of setup and same kind of problem. So um, I had to remove my half block here, or actually right here, because uh, the wolf can just pu push me right out and then I'm not collecting anything and wasting my time. So now wolves can come through and I won't go anywhere. So that's where Nico 3 comes from. And he's just going to stay there. Um, now what's up? So now that I'm back, uh, there's a few things I want to do. Um, I guess the first thing I want to talk about is that uh, Nakomi had an excellent, excellent idea. No, let me get uh, let me get suited up first before I go. Oh yeah, I forgot I lost my mushroom soups in the lava death. Okay. So yeah, I'm not gonna go through this whole thing. And by the way, if I face into the corner and hold W and D, my water ladder still works as constructed. If I just hold W and walk straight at it, it doesn't work. So. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. 
Oh, you're, you're kind of hurt. Let's, um, I'm going to fix, because that's the original Nico there. Original Nico is injured. Here we go. He needs some porky choppies. And I'm not going to worry about myself at the moment. There's a one and a two. And somebody was saying that you can't feed them pork chops, but as you can see, the tail is now back up again. So he is now fully healthy. So, all right, we're set up. Actually, uh, I'm going to leave... Oh, jeez. I'm going to leave original Nico here, and I'm going to feed him another pork chop. Yeah, don't try to make your... Now, where did you come from? I don't remember you. Here. Ugh. Come on. Actually, you can just come with us. Okay, so... That's the original Nico. Alright. Yeah, don't try to make your dog sit when you have your bow out. It does not, apparently... Minecraft does not recognize that you have your bow out. Okay. So let's go back to that one cave entrance over here. And the Komi just had this... Oh, hey, brown sheep. Brown sheep. Baba brown sheep. Um, she just had this genius idea of probably the only thing that wolves are really actually useful for. Because the whole attacking thing doesn't seem to be useful in packs of really aggressive mobs. Um, you know, it's not useful for attacking a dungeon. They're not useful if they're moving around because they push you into lava. However, a very good use that she just thought up is to do this. So you bring a pack of wolves with you, and probably just about as many as you can get, and then you sit them at certain points along the way while you're exploring your cavern. And what they do is they serve as um, visual and audio checkpoints. So now I could be lost over here and going, oh man, I don't really remember where the heck I am. And if you leave some wolves waiting for you, you can kind of listen for barking. And when you hear barking, then you know, ah, I'm going to head in the direction of the barking. And then on your way out, you just collect them back up. I'm not sure, but I think that this might be, apart from... <laughs> um... Well, I was going to say putting down like colored blocks and stuff like that, but I think that this is actually better than that because it has the audio, that extra audio bit to it where you can hear the barking and kind of head in that direction. Uh, it's probably the best navigational accessory that there is, except for that there's probably only... I would say you probably can only have about 15 wolves. I'm not sure. I don't know um, what the passive spawn limit is. I think it's something like 15 or 25. So up to the spawn limit, that's a really, really great idea of how to use wolves um, because they're not <laughs> they're not useful for much else other than just being cute when they're not killing you. Um, so let's head back down to the collector, because I have another little surprise. Wait, 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 wait. Is this one of my tamed wolves? Yes, it is. Okay, I thought it was another random wolf. So the next interesting thing I've got going on here... And this is going to be really, really different as far as how I do things.
is this. Yes, I installed a mod. Believe it or not. I installed the piston mod because, uh, one, it's, I think, probably the most awesome mod I've ever seen in terms of something that's very Minecrafty and also very useful and cool and different. Um, and because it's not official, but I'd say it's extremely likely that it's going to uh, be added to the game because there's already been uh, some talk from Jeb saying that if the mod uh, author submits it that they will probably add it and the mod author said that he would like to submit it to Mojang so I don't see how that could break down. Let's say it's probably pretty likely that we're going to be seeing some pistons in Minecraft. So if you're not familiar with this awesome, awesome, awesome mod, let me show you some cool stuff it can do. So the most basic thing it can do, actually, I should just start off for sure. For those of you who have never ever seen it, it looks kind of like a refrigerator. <laughs> and you can click on it to change which way it's facing. The short edge is the way that it's facing. So you can see it's facing up, it's facing this way, that way, like so. And if I press this plate here, it's activated by redstone, and it extends a piston. It's pretty awesome, right? I think we have another visitor. Hold on. Yep. I have to pause the uh, demonstration to collect the visitor. Or welcome the visitor. Uh, we lost the visitor. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Okay, you just... I'm going to push him around <laughs> over this way. So he's not like standing in the in the doorway in a weird spot. Okay, so like I was saying, you can activate the uh, piston with redstone, and it extends out like so. And it can do really cool stuff like push blocks, just like that. And you can see this block has now been permanently moved one block over, and it can push multiple blocks. I can put more blocks here and push all of them together, just like that. And there's actually not a whole ton more I can show you in this little room, but I have a ton of ideas of stuff I want to try. So I'm going to gather my stuff up, and I think I'm going to make a few more pistons, and then head topside. Alright, so as you can see, I have uh, I've come topside and I've flattened out an area for myself here and uh, thrown some torches around and stowed a lot of my stuff in here so that I could start experimenting. And I've built a little structure here. Basically I have a switch hooked up and it just spindles up to the top there so that it activates that piston, like so. And then I have another one here that activates this one. <clears throat> Actually, it doesn't need to really involve that much redstone. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Okay. And the reason I built this is because I wanted... the first thing I wanted to play with was physics items, like gravel. So what happens when you have a physics item on a piston and you activate it is this. Throws it up in the air. And that immediately gave me the idea to uh, build this little thing here and see if I could catch the flying gravel, which I think I can. So I'm going to dig a little thing here so it's easier to see what's happening. So I'm going to click this one and then I'm going to click that one and try to catch the gravel. Yes. <laughs> uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, 
I'm not sure what you could use that for, really. I guess hypothetically you could have other pistons and you could actually transport gravel and other physics items up and then catch them and then move them around and stuff like that. So that's pretty interesting uh, functionality of pistons. It also does uh, the same thing with entities, player entities, and mobs and things. So if I click this right now, it's going to toss me in the air. Ouch. <laughs> and uh, I think it behaves a little bit differently than physics blocks. Like, I don't think I went quite as high. Um, but I don't, I don't doubt that it could catch me if I, uh, if I had it more automatically wired. So that was the first thing I wanted to try. I also want to try um, a few other things because I just want to see how um, different items are affected by pistons. So let's uh, let's push these wolves out of the way. And actually, I'm going to see if the piston has any effect on me. If it has any crushing power. No. So as far as the piston's concerned, right now I am inside of it, and it didn't hurt me. I can jump out of it. I assume it would probably suffocate me if it was over my face. So... And let's see what happens if I'm standing on a block. Okay, so I don't move with the block, I just fall through. Okay, now let's see about... Uh, let's see what happens to a torch. Ah. Okay, so it'll pop off torches, redstone, so I imagine probably everything that uh, you can put on the ground or on things would probably be popped off by pistons. Whoa! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Um, okay, so it threw the pressure plate. Wait a minute. Is that normal? Ah, interesting. So it will throw items as well, little item entities. And let's see if it throws mobs. <laughs> kinda does, kinda throws them. Um, <clears throat> I guess that means that this wouldn't be too useful in conjunction with tracks, because if you had tracks it would probably pop them off of the ground. So you probably wouldn't be able to do too much with things like uh, minecarts and so forth unless you like push them off onto tracks or something like that. Because I was kind of imagining maybe this could be another way to boost yourself, but I don't know. That'll require a little bit more involved experimentation. Um, let's see what happens to... Oh, I have these dispensers here for no apparent reason. Let's see if it pushes a dispenser. I'm assuming it will. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Not only did it push the dispenser, it reoriented it. I wonder if that's a southwest rule thing. Like, if I put it so that it's facing me, Yeah. So, no matter what direction it's facing, it's always going to end up facing the other way. Facing, uh, what I think is, what is it? Sun is heading west, so yeah, they're going to end up facing west. I don't know how useful that is, but it's definitely interesting. Now... Let's make another piston and see. Let's try something else. 
Now I already know that pistons have uh, limits of 16 blocks, so if you have more than 16 blocks it won't push them. And they also won't push other pistons, so if I put this piston right here, no deal. So even though the redstone's activated, the piston is just locked, it doesn't do anything. And if I remove this, it still won't activate even though the redstone's on. But another thing I was kind of wondering is what happens if you have pistons push towards each other. Just to see. Whoa. <laughs> uh, well, they go through each other. That's interesting. Oh, wow. Did I break one? I think I, I broke it. <laughs> or is it just a visual glitch? No, I broke it. How weird. So pistons are breakable. Apparently. Oops. Okay, so if I, I picked it up, I see I have a stack of two again. Okay. Yeah, so they're not permanently breakable, but temporarily, certainly. Okay. So what else to try? What else to try? <laughs> Let's try some water and see what happens with that. And for that I think I'm going to have to face a different direction so I don't have um, water spilling everywhere. <clears throat> I'm going to try putting a water right here. And let's see what happens. Oh. Wow. Okay, so it just destroys source blocks. And I'm going to assume that it probably does the same thing to lava. So it destroys liquid source blocks permanently. Let me go get some more water. And let's tear down and do a little floodgate, because I heard that you can do floodgate things. You can use water or uh, pistons to kind of control water somewhat. So I'm going to put my piston right here. I'm going to turn it like that and turn it on. Now I'm going to pour some water. And it's getting dark, so I'm going to throw some more torches up here. We actually want this area to be lit up anyway. Okay. Now if I turn this piston off, the water should flow through here. Yes it does. And if I turn it on again, it goes away. So that's pretty cool. I think there's a ton of possibilities of things that you can do with these pistons, and if ever there was a worthy addition to Minecraft, this is just awesome. This works with the redstone and it's a really excellent compliment. Now to think of cool things to use pistons for and all this new information.